Responsive search ads are already Google's preferred option for setting ad copies in Google Ads. And by June 30 this year, they will become the only option. And that's because on June 30, Google will be removing the option for you to be able to edit or add new expanded text ads. While personally, I prefer the option of having both responsive search ads and expanded text ads, this will no longer be an option. But rather than whinging and screaming and calling it the end of Google Ads and saying that we're losing the option for split testing forever, in the last six months since Google has made this announcement, I have personally been split testing different options across over 50 different Google Ads campaigns in all different niches and in all different locations. And the good news is, is that I've found a way for you to be able to split test your ad copies in Google Ads, even with responsive search ads. This was the core concern when Google made this announcement about removing expanded text ads and switching over to responsive search ads only, is that us as advertisers would lose that ability to conduct important split tests on our ad copy. And and the reason for this is because in order to be able to see different results of the different descriptions and headlines that Google is showing to your customers, you need to have at least 5,000 impressions in a 30 day period. And then on top of that, if your ad even did have 5,000 impressions in that 30 day period, you wouldn't get full data. You would just get this little metric of Google letting you know which ad was performing the best, and which ad was performing good, and which ad was performing poor. So not the same level of data that we're getting with expanded text ads, where we could see a direct correlation between the headlines that we were using, our click-through rates, and also our conversion rates. And the reason for why I've waited till now to share this video is because I first wanted to have some data in order to be able to show you that you don't need to worry, even with the coming change of responsive search ads, you can still complete all of the required split testing while still getting the exact data that you need in order to be able to make decisions. And on top of that, I can also report that since December, my responsive search ads have actually been getting better results than my expanded text ads in the majority of my campaigns. So that you too can also see these same results in your own Google Ads campaigns and to make sure that you are ready for June 30 this year. In this video, I'm going to take you through the difference between responsive search ads and expanded text ads, how responsive search ads work, a simple and quick process to actually set up your responsive search ads, and then finally, how you can complete the required split testing for your responsive search ads to ensure that you're seeing the highest level of success in your Google Ads campaigns. If you don't know who I am, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. While we're going through this training, if you have any specific questions that you would like answered in regards to responsive search ads and how you can best make them work in your account, I would love to answer them for you. To get your questions answered, all you need to do is to quickly subscribe to my channel and then leave your question in the comment section below. Alrighty, let's get into this training. So what I want to do firstly is to quickly take you through the difference between expanded text ads and responsive search ads. So our expanded text ads have one URL, you can add three headlines, and then you can also add two descriptions. And on top of your two descriptions, you can also add two different display paths. And with your expanded text ads, all of these assets, so your headlines and your descriptions are shown in the order that you choose. But when we go over to our responsive search ads, they are the same that you can only have one final URL, but rather than being only able to add three headlines, you can actually add up to 15 different headlines headlines and for your descriptions rather than two you can add up to four different descriptions with once again the option of only adding in two different display paths and then these next couple of points is where there are some large differences between expanded text ads and responsive search ads and the first thing is that your assets can actually be shown in any order so you need to make sure that all of your headlines and your descriptions make sense regardless of which order they are shown and then on top of that Google actually displays your headlines and descriptions in different orders so that it can complete its own split testing. So that's a list of the differences between expanded text ads and responsive search ads. But now let's go into the Google Ads dashboard so I can actually show you how responsive search ads work. Now we do have to make it clear that your customer will actually not know whether they're looking at a responsive search ad or an expanded text ad. And the reason for that is because what the customer sees is actually the same in that your ads will actually still have three headlines and two descriptions, whether they're seeing a mobile ad or a desktop ad. With the difference being in the setup of those ads in that in your responsive search ads is that you've actually got up to 15 different headlines that you can add Add, and up to four different descriptions that you can add. And then from this collection of 15 headlines and four descriptions, Google will automatically go through and start displaying some different headlines and different descriptions in different combinations to actually find out which combination of headlines and descriptions works best in regards to click-through ratios and also conversion rates. And Google makes these decisions based on the search's search term, 
the searcher's search history data, and also the historic performance of the ad. So for example, if Google sees that the headline services starting from just $99 leads to higher click-through ratios and also higher conversion rates, when shown in position three, Google will automatically start to show that headline in position three more often than not. So with responsive search ads, Google does have some built-in split testing, which will show different ads to different people depending on their own search history and also the historical performance of the ads. Before we get into the process of setting up your responsive search ads and how to actually run split testing in your search ads, I did wanna let you know about my Google Ads Optimization Checklist. And this is a checklist that I still use today and that you can have for free. And this checklist actually gives you a list of what you need to optimize in your Google Ads account every week, every month, and every 90 days. So after you've finished watching this video, why don't you follow the link in the description so you can get your very own Google Ads Optimization Checklist, which will help you carry out the required optimizations in your Google Ads account so that you can improve its performance and ultimately create more sales and leads for your business. So let's now talk about how you actually set up responsive search ads in your Google Ads account. If you've ever set up expanded text ads before, the process for setting up responsive search ads is actually pretty much the same, except rather than adding only three headlines and two descriptions, you've got options to add the extra headlines and the extra descriptions. So what we need to do is we need to go into our campaigns, then go into our ad groups and go into the individual ad group that you wanna add in the expanded text ads, going into ads and extensions. And then when you click on this blue create ad button, it'll automatically give you the option to set up a new responsive search ad. And then from this screen, you can go through and add in your headlines and your descriptions press save and then the setup is complete. Now that you know how responsive search ads work and how you can actually go about setting them up in your own Google Ads account, let's talk about how you can complete that all important process of split testing your ads in Google Ads. And for all of the hyperbole and all of the over top reactions that the world is falling in and we can't complete any more split testing for our ad copy in Google Ads, the process isn't actually that hard at all. And the reason for that is that you're still able to run multiple different responsive search ads in the same ad group and then on top of that, you can actually pin in the different headlines and descriptions so that those ads can function in exactly the same way as expanded text ads. So in short, even though you have the ability of adding up to 15 different headlines and up to four different descriptions, you can still create an ad where you're only adding three headlines and then Google also gives you the option to pin those headlines in either position one, two or three. And by also following that process in the descriptions, you can decide by pinning which description you want to show in position one and which description you want to show in position two. So let's take a look at how we would complete that. So to complete this process, we just want to go into the ad group where we're going to complete the split testing, select one of our responsive search ads, and then from there we want to go up into edit, select copy, close this blue notification bar, and then click on these three little dots for more options, click paste. And then from there, we just want to make sure that this is in the right ad group, which it is. Then we click done. And then from there, before you click on this paste button, you just wanna go through and actually select this option where it says that if the ad already exists in the destination, create a duplicate. We've selected that, then we press paste. And then you can see from here, we never actually got a secondary response to search ad where we can complete our split testing. So all we need to do is to go into edit. And from here, we can make those decisions that if we wanna pin some certain ads, we can actually say that we only want these to appear in position one. And for example, if we want these first two headlines to only appear in position one, we can pin both of these in position one. And then from there, you can actually see that our first headline is only saying aircon cleaning or air conditioner cleaning Brisbane and no other headline options will appear. And then for the rest of these headlines and descriptions, we can either remove them or edit them and then pin in as many headlines that we want to appear in position one position two or position three. And if we wanted our responsive search ads to actually function like an expanded text ad, where we're only testing one headline in position one and another headline in position two and then a third position in headline three, we can actually just go through and make those changes so that we're manually creating an expanded text ad. So if we wanted to just use these three headlines, we can add in those three headlines, removing all of the others, and then go through and pin in which headline we want to show in position one, which headline we want to show in position two, and which headline we want to show in position three. And then with this setup, regardless of which different option we use, you can see that we're always displaying the same headline in position one, position two and position three. And then we can complete that same process for the descriptions. And then from there, we click save. And then once this ad is approved, we can then actually go through, look at the data, and we'll be able to see exactly the different clicks and impressions, click-through ratio, 
and ultimately our conversion metrics to see how our ads actually perform with this responsive ad with set headlines and descriptions versus our other ads, including our expanded text ads or our responsive search ad, which has a more flexible approach. So moving forward with the change to responsive search ads, I actually see that you have two different options for completing your split testing with your ad copy. The first option is, is where you actually update your responsive search ads so that they function like an expanded text ad. And this would be the process where you would copy and edit three different versions of the responsive search ad with each individual search ad having pinned headlines and pinned descriptions so that you're dictating to Google which positions you want each individual headline and description showing in Google Ads. And this would be a great option for new ad groups or keyword targets that you're running where you don't have any previous data on what are the best converting headlines and descriptions for individual search terms. And then the second option to complete split testing with the responsive search ads would be to have one responsive search ad which has no pinned headlines and no pinned descriptions. And then you would have a secondary responsive search ad which would have some pinned headlines and pinned descriptions so that you can get some exact further data on which headlines and descriptions are actually providing providing the highest click-through ratios and conversion rates. And then with this process, once you get a confirmation of a highly performing headline and a highly performing description, you can then add that back to your original responsive search ad so that it eventually your original responsive search ad, which has no pin headlines and no pin descriptions, only has headlines and descriptions which have proven data and you know that they convert at a high level and also provide you high click-through ratios. So regardless of which option you take, option one or option two, you still have some really strong options to complete that valuable split testing that that you need in order to see success with your Google Ads campaigns. So from those two options, you can see that you have a really clear option to complete your split testing in Google Ads, regardless of the incoming change on June 30 this year. And why don't you let me know which option you're gonna use, either option one or option two, and leave it in the comments below. Now, a lot of people are aware of this incoming change to your ad copy, but what many people don't know is that Google actually made a massive change to keyword targeting, and that change is actually already live in your Google Ads account right now, and it has been since September last year. Year. So if you don't know what that change is and what you need to do in your Google Ads account, what I want you to do is to go through and watch this video right here where I detail what the change is, but more importantly, what changes you need to make in your Google Ads account so that you can continue to see some great results. Thank you for joining me again. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.